We've received a package for our tower garden. Let's take a look at what's in the box. You can see here it came in a USPS priority mail. Packaged well. Wrapped up really well. Everything is boxed. We even have some instructions here. This is from L2C. I found out about these folks from a Facebook group. Everything is well packaged. And well wrapped up. So what I'm unboxing here is the level two concepts high timer and it is actually high timer dash res it is a Wi-Fi programmable timer for a tower garden weatherproof and waterproof and all that good stuff the reason I got this is that the stock timer that came with the tower garden wasn't really cutting the mustard it was tripping a lot and uh, eventually failed I came out to uh, find crops that were dead dying or damaged and that was a big problem so you can see the form factor here If I hold it up against the, an 8.5 by 11 paper, you can see the, the size. It has mounting brackets on it so that you can put it on the side of your house if you wanted to use it for landscaping or irrigation. This particular one comes with a three plug, also with plug covers, and what I thought was really neat about this whole thing, a plug gasket. So when you plug your stuff in, there's a gasket that will keep your plug from seeping water. That's what this is right here, and I see that it's torn, but I think it's still usable. So when we come back, we'll go ahead and plug the tower garden in and uh, give it a go. Okay, we're at the tower garden. And you can hear thunder in the background. Of course, it's Florida. So I'm going to disconnect the power to the pump. This is the power coming in from the outside outlet. We're going to disconnect this. Take the protective cover off. And we're going to make sure that the silicone gasket is under the plug and that it's secure. We're just going to plug it in like this. And you can see now that the rubber gasket is there and will hopefully keep water from getting in between the plug. That was one issue that we had. Now we'll take these plug covers and I'm going to unplug the end ones. This also came with silicone. So we'll pull the silicone off of that. We'll put it on our plug for the pump. And we'll plug it in. Second verse, same as the first for the heater. For now, since it appears to be getting ready to do the afternoon rain here in Florida, I've tucked everything under the tower, trying to leave some drip loops there. And we'll now move on to the step of programming. Once you have the high timer plugged in, it's actually quite easy to configure. Go to the Wi-Fi settings on your phone or computer and look for high timer dash and then a six letter digit combination. That's going to be the last six digits of the MAC address. Tap on that and enter HITIMER1 as the password. That's H-Y-T-I-M-E-R and the number 1. 
tap or click join. Once you've joined the network, you'll be all set and able to connect to the high timer. After you've seen the check or have been told you've connected to the network, open your browser. Tap or click on the address bar, then enter http colon slash slash one zero dot three dot two dot one. Then press enter. You'll be directed to the interface for the high timer. And as you can see here, there's quite a few options, but it's really not that bad. You can set the mode of the timer to be always on, always off, or in timer mode. You can also set the on time and the off time for any interval that you wish. The instructions will give you the time limits. Tower Garden recommends that you set your tower timer to be 15 minutes on and 15 minutes off. And you can certainly do that here. All you need to do is tap or click on the square, change the number, then tap or click on the next square and do the same thing. We're going to reset ours back to the one minute on, five minutes off, as this is what Level 2 Concepts recommends because it's what the commercial growers use. Once we have those numbers set, we're going to tap the Submit button and the settings will be saved. High Timer is going to restart and then you'll be good to go. We're going to leave it in this configuration and we'll be back in about a month or so to show you how the crops are doing. Well, it's been two months and we're back outside of the tower garden and as you can tell in the background, it is doing the typical afternoon storming here in Florida. So you're going to hear thunder and see weird clouds happening behind me. Just pay no attention to that. I've kept the high timer at the one minute on, five minutes off timing protocol, which is the default for the high timer. As you saw earlier in the video, I installed gaskets and plug covers on any unused plugs and also included gaskets on the outside GFCI outlet and any plugs in the, for the tower garden. I then put the high timer and the plugs underneath the tub so that they would stay somewhat drier. This has helped keep my GFCI outlet resets to a minimum while allowing me to grow crops in Florida's 100 degree heat. This tower garden gets sun from about 10 in the morning all the way through till about 6 at night, maybe even 7 at night, but you wouldn't know it looking at the video today. I've got some Swiss chard growing on top different varieties of summer crisp and butter crisp lettuce along with some Asian leafy greens. So if you're interested in replacing the tower garden stock timer I can say that this is definitely an upgrade. It's fully waterproof, very easy to use and again I think the results speak for themselves. Will it guarantee you crops? No. There's a lot of other things that go on with a tower garden that'll help guarantee crops, but having a decent timer is one of those things that will help you guarantee success. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Feel free to give me any comments, questions, or feedback that you have in the comments section below the video. If you like the video and you'd like to see more of these videos, click on the subscribe button and then click on the little bell to be notified. We try to publish one video a week. Sometimes we go two weeks. It all depends on what the day job and family life is doing. Until next time, be safe, be well, and thanks for watching.